But if there's a name floating around, and look, there are a lot of names floating around that are connect, connected with uh, at, Atlanta. I mean, Budenholzer being one of them. You know, I, I just think even if Clifford does everything right from here to the end of the season, there's still this thing inside my head going, man, you know, mm, I could okay. see Jeff Peterson. Yeah. I could see Jeff Peterson just going, yeah, you know, thanks, Clifford. Appreciate your service. Uh, you did a great job. But, you know, there's this name that I've that's connected with me that I know that I trust that I understand and I want to bring them in and start and start quickly. The other stamp would be the top five, seven pick that the Hornets are going to have. Yeah. So that would be the other one for Jeff, but you're right. Especially if that connection with Budenholzer is strong enough with the help of Rick Schnall, because remember right. that, that I, I hate doing this. Maybe it's not Jeff Peterson stamp. Could, could Maybe be. it's alongside Rick Schnall, you know, but if that's the case, I, I would take a Budenholzer. Like you pretty clearly have to take Mike Budenholzer who, Honestly, you can make strong case should have never been fired by Milwaukee in the first place. But I think what you and I are trying to say here is to look at this last stretch of games and to say, well, if Clifford does X, he'll be fine. Or Clifford does Y, and he's not going to be fine. To me, that's a naive way of looking at it. Honestly, I think Clifford has proven everything that he can prove already this season. He's he's uh, coached. He's kept the team together. They haven't like gotten super frustrated or gone in front of the media. They haven't had too many you know, backdoor meetings or whatever, players-only meetings. He hasn't lost the locker room. And he's actually improved a team that has no business improving defensively. He's actually gotten them to play decent defense. Like, I don't know what he has left to prove. 